In 2020, the world changed. We were told to distance and we all felt the pain. Buildings shut, schools were closed, pubs boarded up and employees furloughed. Families and friends across the nations forced into lockdowns and isolation. The vulnerable shielded, hiding away, lonely, isolated for yet another day. We loved, we lost, we grieved. Life was hard, it still is, but we continue to believe. We persevered, we fixed our eyes on him, Jesus Christ, forever our King. We stepped out in worship just like we were taught to feed the hungry and clothe the poor. We preached the gospel, the love of Christ, as we all came together, one body, one mind. We all played our part. We learned how to do church online, innovating, creating time after time. God showed up in power, healing over Zoom. We encountered his presence right here in our rooms. People were baptized in baths and oceans as they met God's loves and their eyes were open. He inhabited our hearts, our lives, our homes. It didn't matter that our buildings were closed. Homes became hosts of church services. Dining tables became discipleship spaces. Alpha courses and small groups meeting on screens. More people attended than we've ever seen. You see, the church is still open. Our King is alive. In Him we hope, we trust, we rely. And so we gather from all churches, all homes to be trained, equipped, inspired, and to learn. To hear from God for the next leg of our race. For this moment, for this time, come and take your place.